Many of us don't think cats can be taught, but ignoring your cat's education can lead to many problems with their health and well-being. This is why Animal Wise brings you this compilation on how to educate your cat. We start by explaining how to redirect biting hand behaviour, something particularly common in kittens. Exploratory behaviour Newborn kittens use their mouths to explore and interact with the world around them. As they grow and their senses sharpen, their mother and siblings are responsible for teaching them the limits and boundaries of play, especially when using their claws and teeth. When a kitten is separated from their mother prematurely, they become more prone to certain behavioural problems. These include aggressive playing behaviours. This is because they have not necessarily been able to learn the aforementioned boundaries, as well as more appropriate ways of dealing with their emotions. For this reason, it's essential we respect the weaning period before separating a kitten from their mother. Poor socialization. Early socialization is key for a kitten to develop their confidence. For this reason, cats which have not been properly socialized tend to present behaviors associated with insecurity and fear. These can range from hiding in the presence of strangers to biting or scratching. If you've neglected your cat's socialization and notice they bite your hands when you draw close to them, it's most likely the reason for this behavior. If your cat tends to exhibit unusual behaviors when you receive visitors, or if you perceive their character is excessively fearful or skittish, you should start working on their socialization immediately. Improper education or training. Many guardians wonder why their cats bite their hand while playing. The answer may be directly related to their own behavior when educating their kittens. An example can be seen when someone adopts a kitten and finds it very cute when they bite their hands during a play session. When this behavior is allowed to continue, it's reinforcing in the kitten that it's okay to repeat this behavior. When they become adult, they haven't learned bite inhibition and their bite will be more powerful. Learn how to avoid this problem with our first info video on disciplining cats properly. If you don't want your adult cat to bite your hands when playing, don't allow it when they are a kitten. Instead, say a firm no when they bite and substitute your hand with an appropriate toy they can bite as much as they wish. Stress or discomfort. If your cat bites your hand when you pet them, it's probably because you're trying to do something they find unpleasant. This could be touching their belly, kissing them or giving them a hug. This bite is a clear way of saying stop it. It is also very likely they have issued previous signals which indicate their discomfort, such as keeping their ears flat, purring rhythmically, moving their tail erratically or even holding it between their legs. Find out all about cat body language in the next info video we share. Other situations can cause biting due to stress, but it's important to determine whatever it is and eliminate it from their routine. Aggression due to health problems or other causes. Aggression in cats is a behavioral problem that can be associated with multiple causes. These can be negative experiences or poor socialization, but painful health problems or even neurological disorders can result in behavioral alterations. This is common when the cat starts biting all of a sudden. If you notice your cat is biting your hands and becoming aggressive when they didn't do so before, the first thing to do is take them to a veterinarian. They will first rule out any pathological cause. If the cat is otherwise healthy, they can review their routine and environment to identify what stimuli might be prompting such aggressive responses. In the case of newly adopted cats, it's possible past traumas are influencing their behaviours. In these cases, be patient and earn their trust through positive reinforcement. Now that you know how to teach your kitten not to bite you and redirect this behaviour to something more appropriate, we explain how to teach a cat to use their litter box. Make sure the kitten can access the litter box. If your cat is still very young, they may have a hard time getting into the litter box. It's key to keep this in mind when choosing the right one, but you can help by placing them inside at the times they likely need to urinate and defecate, usually after waking up and feeding. Indicate that this is the appropriate place to go. Once they've located the litter box, show them this is a safe place. You can do so by slowly stirring up the clean litter with your hands. If you see the kitten is preparing to urinate or defecate elsewhere, you can gently pick them up and immediately bring them to the litter box to help assimilate that this is the correct place for their business. If the kitten has already started to urinate or have a bowel movement, don't interrupt them. Don't be so strict about cleanliness at first. Although hygiene is key so that a cat doesn't reject their litter box, a kitten that is still getting used to their litter box will use the recognition of their own smell to facilitate the assimilation of the elimination area. Check out the first info video above to learn the basic care of a cat's litter box.
reinforce good behavior. At this early stage, it's also important to give your kitten a reward every time they use the litter box correctly. Positive reinforcement will help make the cat assimilate this behavior as part of their routine and keep them motivated to continue learning other desirable behaviors. Consider the location of the litter box. If you notice your kitten always goes to the same place when they need to defecate, a very simple solution is to move the litter box here as long as it meets the basic requirements for litter box control. If you identify more than one area, don't be shy about having two or more litter boxes in the home. If you have two cats, we recommend that you take a look at the next info video in which we explain whether two cats can share the same litter box. Never punish them. Whether discussing a kitten or adult cat, scolding or punishing them for satisfying their physiological needs or carrying out an instinctive behavior is both cruel and counterproductive. Any kind of abuse or humiliation will only make the cat stressed and afraid of you. This will affect their confidence and security, increasing the likelihood they will develop a complex behavioral problem such as aggression. If you follow all of these tips and your cat still refuses to use the litter box or has difficulty urinating and defecating in general, you will need to take them to a veterinarian. How to teach an adult cat to use the litter box If we're talking about a recently adopted adult cat, we must take into account the correct use of the litter box will be part of their adaptation to the new home. All the precautions and good practices we have discussed here must be applied to favour the assimilation of their elimination area. In addition, you must take into account the following. To begin with, place several litter boxes in different parts of the home. This is often useful in preventing the cat from urinating in inappropriate places, as well as helping you to identify where they feel most comfortable and safe to defecate. This will help determine the final location of the litter box. In the event a cat has lived on the street for a long time, they are likely to have heightened instinctive and sexual behaviours. This includes urine marking, which is not exclusive to males. It serves not only to mark territory, but also to communicate their availability to attract and mate with potential partners. If you have an adult cat that marks with urine all over the house, one of the measures that you should evaluate is neutering. In addition to preventing various diseases, it's very effective in controlling behaviours associated with reproduction and ensuring a cat has a more even behaviour and is more amenable to training. We continue with something that can be problematic for many cat guardians, teaching them to sleep in their own bed. Choose the perfect bed. One of the most important considerations is size. Cats need space to turn around and stretch out, but most cats don't like their bed to be too big either. The material from which the bed is made is also very important. We recommend giving preference to easy to wash beds as it helps remove bad odours and microorganisms that can cause disease. Ensure it has sufficient cushioning such as high density foam padding and cave or igloo beds are also ideal. Discover the best place for your cat to sleep with the info video we share above. Create a conducive environment for sleep. Place the cat's bed in a warm room or space which receives sunlight but which is not exposed to weather such as wind, rain or cold. It should be near a suitable heat source in winter. If you recognise your cat feels comfortable in a certain place, try not to change it as it can harm the adaptation period for your cat. Provide an alternative. It is normal for cats to change position and location between naps. If you don't want your cat to climb up on the couch or sleep in your bed, we recommend setting up a second rest area, preferably somewhere up high. A very easy and economical option is to affix a stable shelf or a type of resistance support on a wall placed at a good height. Add a cushion or a second bed where your cat can rest in safety and observe their surroundings. Use positive reinforcement. You can leave treats, toys or even a blanket from your bed to help acclimatise your cat to their own and help them feel secure. When they start using the bed on their own, use positive reinforcement to acknowledge their effort. In addition to treats, you can also use words of encouragement, petting and even games to reward them. This motivates the cat to continue their good behaviour. If you have recently adopted a cat, give them a treat during the first few days when they use the bed. When you see they start to feel uncomfortable, wean them off treats but continue to support them. This means only offering treats some of the time when they sleep in their own bed. Do so until it finally becomes an ingrained habit. Eventually, you can use this method for other aspects of their education and learning. If you like this animal-wised video, remember that a super thanks can help us continue creating the content you enjoy. Don't punish them. Never punish, scold or physically strike your cat if they jump on your bed to sleep. This is not only cruel, but it is counterproductive to the task at hand. 
Shouting at the cat will only make them feel insecure and lead to the development of unhealthy behaviours. You can use a firm no to stop them, but then use positive encouragement methods to carry out the desired behaviour as described before. Earn their trust. If you've recently adopted a cat, earning their trust is your main priority in terms of education and care. Don't force them to interact or explore until they feel comfortable with you and their new environment. If you notice your kitten behaves in a fearful or nervous manner, you can consult a veterinarian or even use pheromones to help them feel at ease. Keep them well stimulated. If you want your cat to sleep in their own bed and give you peace at night, make sure they have an enriched environment where they can expend energy and entertain themselves during the day. In the next info video above, we share the information you need to improve your cat's environmental enrichment. Spending some time each day playing with your cat will not only help tire them out, but will also allow you to nurture a relationship based on affection and mutual trust. With enough patience, you will eventually get your cat used to sleeping in their bed. It's essential you observe them to understand their own tastes and preferences in order to guide their behaviour and improve coexistence. Now that you know how to make your cat sleep in their own bed, we teach you how to prevent a cat from scratching the furniture. Cats are carnivorous predators that need to condition their body to best carry out hunting behaviour. This includes an agile musculature and sharp claws. In addition to obtaining food, cats use their claws to mark territory. When they scratch, glands in their paws release scents which are used to communicate with cats and other animals. These scents can be used to delineate a cat's territory, alert the presence of a possible mate and simply to feel safe in their environment. Cats mark in various ways but scratching with their claws is one of the most common in the home. Especially once they've been litter trained, cats will scratch strategically in various areas of the home they deem particularly important. For this reason, the cats that live with us must enjoy an environment where they can climb, rest, play and even mark territory. It's an important part of their communication and can't be denied. When is scratching a problem for cats? More than causing damage to our furniture, how a cat scratches can be an indicator of their well-being. When a cat has certain issues, they can scratch in different places, often near the doors or windows. They may also relieve themselves outside the litter box, hide or lose their appetite. If we observe any of these behavioural changes in our cat, we need to seek veterinary advice in case they are caused by a physical health problem. If the cat is otherwise healthy, it's likely stress is a factor. The solution for stress marking will depend on the cause, one of the reasons why a correct diagnosis is imperative. If we can't determine this cause ourselves, we can seek the help of a specialised veterinarian or ethologist. We will now provide some practical tips to stop cats destroying the furniture. Provide environmental enrichment. An essential aspect of ensuring a cat's health and happiness is providing a home which is environmentally enriched. This consists of creating an environment which will allow them to express their feline nature, as well as stimulate them physically and cognitively to ensure their well-being. Discover more about environmental enrichment for cats in the video we share on the card above. Offer scratchers. While we should never scold or physically punish the cat, we can provide a firm no if we see them doing something they shouldn't. However, we can't simply deny their behaviour. We need to redirect this behaviour somewhere more appropriate. In the case of scratching, this means we can offer scratching trees, scratching posts or even scratching toys. Attract them with our scent. Cats want to mark us, so we can try placing an old t-shirt or similar item imbued with our smell on the scratcher as a way to encourage the cat to use it. Place the scratching posts in their favourite areas. We'll need to place the scratching posts and trees in their favourite places in the home. Putting them somewhere they can feel safe, calm and relax helps because cats often scratch when they wake up as it allows them to stretch. Another good idea is to attach scratchers to the parts of furniture they like to scratch, although this will depend on their design. It's similar to placing their litter box somewhere they normally like to go and relieve themselves. Offer catnip. There are products on the market that encourage the use of the scratching post and help redirect behaviour. A natural and easily obtained example is catnip, which can be sprinkled on the top of the scratching post. Use synthetic pheromones. There are also synthetic pheromones in diffusers or sprays that simulate natural feline pheromones. They serve to reassure the cat when the marking occurs due to stress and are used strategically throughout the home environment. Finally, if stress is causing them to mark indiscriminately, none of the tricks to prevent your cat from scratching the furniture will be effective if you don't treat the underlying cause. It's important to find out if you suspect your cat scratches due to stress. Most cats don't like water, but many will need to be bathed at some point. Learn how to accustom a cat to the bathroom for bathing in our next video.
create a good atmosphere. We need to start by leading up to a bath in small increments. For example, we should let them see a hairdryer before it's turned on, turn it on low away from them, and then slowly move closer. We can let them see us showering, bathing or drying our hair before we even think to bathe them. We can also use treats and other positive reinforcement to attract them to the bathroom. We can use these treats to bring them into the bath or bottom of the shower without turning the water on. Do this a number of times before the first bath so they won't be scared and create negative associations with the bathroom. We can also wet them by hand without using the shower itself. Start the bath little by little. Having achieved these small advances, we can dare to start a bath. To do this, choose a time when you have the time and when they are calm. If either you or the cat is stressed, the experience will be negative. You can hold them gently by the scruff as long as you don't support their weight in doing so. Speak softly and use water on them with a shower at a minimum pressure or using a small container. The water has to be warm. If they react aggressively or become overly stressed, stop the bath. In this case, it's better to start over another day. Slowly progress towards shampooing and drying. Do the minimum if necessary. We may have no choice but to bathe the cat. This can happen if it is part of their treatment or if a toxic substance has been put on their coat for some reason. In these cases, we can hold them firmly and perform the entire bath as quickly as possible. Don't pour water on their faces and it's best to avoid the belly area. Go over their coat quickly with a shampoo before rinsing and drying well. Although using haste, you will need to remain calm and use positive reinforcement. You may even be able to clean localized areas without a bath if you use cat-friendly wipes. The next info video shows you how to bathe an adult cat for the first time, step by step. Take them to a cat groomer. Finally, if absolutely nothing works with your cat when it comes to helping them stay in the bathtub, but they need to be bathed, you will have to go to a feline groomer. They may even have to contact a veterinarian to sedate the cat for bathing and drying, but this is only an extreme situation. Since it's normal for them to appear more scared and distant at first, our last video explains how to gain the trust and affection of a cat. Give them space and time. When a cat comes into our home, we are eager to give them attention. However, if we want the relationship to start off on the right foot, we need to be careful. Cats need time and space to adapt to their environment, and that includes us. They need to lose their fear and become used to our presence. This is why we must never force them to receive petting or climb on top of us. To reciprocate love with your cat, you need to create a bond of security and trust. Give them treats, play with them, but let them come to you. They will smell you and then rub against you. Only then do you have the permission to interact. Improve their environment. One of the main causes of behavioural changes in cats is anxiety. Cats that live indoors can be just as happy as those with outside access. But some can be stressed because they cannot satisfy their basic instincts, such as hunting, climbing and scratching. When this happens, their character changes and they may even turn aggressive. Therefore, if you want your cat to be happy, you must stimulate their instincts and intelligence by improving their environment. You can start by buying a scratching post if they don't already have one. Felines need to scratch to care for their nails, mark territory and release stress. You should also provide platforms and hiding places as cats love to keep an eye on their prey from heights and hide in dark places. Likewise, it's advisable to offer toys of all kinds. Hunting and stalking toys such as fishing rods stimulate their chase and climbing instincts. Intelligence games which use hidden food are particularly useful for this purpose. And finally, social interaction games will improve their bond with you if you play a minimum of twice a day. Discover other ways to improve your cat's happiness in the video that we share here. Ensure their well-being. You must make sure a cat's basic needs are covered. Poor nutrition can trigger health and behavioural problems. We must give them quality food appropriate to their species and age. Also, you should always have water available, kept fresh and separated from their food. As for their hygiene, the most important thing is taking care of their coat. We should brush it daily and give them malt paste once a week to help reduce the possibility of hairballs. It's also important to clean their ears when they are dirty, brush their teeth and trim their nails if they are long. Remember that cats do not need to bathe except those that do not have hair. You must also make sure that a feline has a stable, uncovered and appropriately sized litter box with a suitable and very clean litter. This should be located in a quiet place away from their food and water bowl. Lastly, your cat also needs a padded bed to rest. 
Keep in mind that felines love heights and concave surfaces. Monitor their health. Although they live indoors, cats are exposed to infectious diseases that can cause changes in their behavior. It's important they are vaccinated and dewormed according to their needs. In addition, we must remain attentive to any symptoms of illness and go to the vet for routine checkups. If you see your cat has everything they need, but do not show you affection, they may have a health problem. To rule it out, we recommend that you consult a veterinarian. Only a professional can diagnose such a problem. And here is our compilation guide on the education of a cat. If you want to continue learning about the education and care of cats, don't miss the playlist we share here. Share any cat training tips you might have in the comments, and we'll see you next time.